Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today you must, must have seen the topic and someone requested me to tell them how we can open a menu like a basic frame that I'll make today how you can open it up using by when you click on a top bar icon icon, okay, whatever this could be us so back to what I was saying this could be us So, for that, I'm going to quickly get uh, script out everything and to know what is what, you'll have to watch my previous video, which I'll show it in the I button, I think in the corner, uh, top right corner, in the I button, I'll put it. So, I'm going to quickly go ahead and script out the thing and I'm going to tell you what is supposed to be done further. So I'll quickly just get the custom top bar module and I'm going to put it in replicated storage. Now, to know all of this, you can watch my previous video so then I'm gonna go to start a GUI I'll just hide off this plugin thing that I made um, plugins and yep there we go okay so we're gonna go to start a GUI and I'm gonna create a just a sample GUI like this like a menu or frame like kind of thing so I'll just go ahead and scale this and make it a little big like this something like this okay something like this and i'll just write some text inside it i'll just add some text go ahead and set the background to transparency one uh text this is a fr in frame slash menu this is a frame slash menu whatever you want to call it so that's what i'll keep it text scaled i'll just give a nice font to it that i always use um there we go and i'm gonna size it like this and i'm just gonna put it in the center of the frame there you go so this is a frame slash menu what i want to call it and then i'm going to put a script under the frame i am just putting it under the frame if wherever you can put it wherever you want i'll just put it under that and then i'll require the module so i'll just name it top bar require game dot replicated storage dot top bar module then I'm going to do top bar colon add oh uh, not add it's um well it is yep it is add so yeah add and the button name will be test button image okay so we need to get an image from somewhere so i'll just go to images by the way they've added a new category like thing over here that's a good thing so i'll just take maybe Hmm, I'll take this image or maybe this image for now just for test so I'm gonna copy as uh, I'm just I'm, I'll just insert this in I'll go to take this in here and then I'll just paste this in here and then over here we need to put left true and that's all now before that you need to make a variable for the button you name it whatever you want and then once you make the variable now as I told in the last video that we need to go ahead and ch uh, check when the button is clicked so I'm gonna go button dot uh, mouse button one click then we're gonna connect 
function and we are going to go ahead and do script dot parent dot visible equals true that's all you get the uh, click event when the button is clicked and we make the uh, frame that is the script dot parent the frame visible to true that's all now if I only tell you this the video will be quite short so let me show you how this is working first and then I'll show you something else that you, you may be interested in so I'll make the visibility of this to false so it's hidden and then I'll go ahead and click play okay guys so it has loaded up and um, now I'm going to show you as you can see there is a button right here so when I click that it should open up that frame that we made so let's try it out and there it worked when we click the button the frame has opened now how do you close it now you may know how to make a close button and close a frame but now this video is too short that's why I'll show you how you can make it so that when you click the same button over here the frame will even close just so just you are, if you are interested you can do this too so I'll just stop the game right now and then we'll get to the scripting part again okay guys so we are back to the scripting part now this code only opened up the frame but now how you can make it so the same button will open and close the frame without having a big if statement like um if uh, script dot parent dot visible equals equals um true then and all that we're not going to do all that stuff we'll just use one line of code the code is script dot parent dot visible equals not script dot parent dot visible so this one line of code will basically make the frame visible and invisible depending on what the visibility is right now so let's try that out now if it really works or no okay guys so we've loaded back into the game and now i'll show you when i click that button it should open up the frame and close the frame once i click it again so when i click this the frame opens up when i click it again the frame closes so the same the same button will do both open and close open and close that's all that's the way you can in one line you can make the thing uh, you can make the frame open and close using one line only instead of using a if statement and all that so that's all for this video if you like this video please hit the like button and if you want more content like this then hit the subscribe button too and the bell icon so you get to know when a new video is posted till then bye bye this could be us so back to what i was saying. Oh, 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 oh,